question. Uh, I'm in recovery. I, I've been continually working on myself. And I'm at the point where I feel comfortable. But I'm realising that working on myself is becoming an endless cycle. And in that, I still don't know who I am. Okay, good question. Um, I think I think that's how it is for a lot of people. I think I think if you if you you know if you're in recovery from addiction of any kind, really, um, any kind, really, whether it's addiction or whether it's having lost yourself in in, in other ways, you know, um, there is always a point of working on yourself, having to see what what. You know what part of you maybe maybe is lacking in boundaries maybe you've had to learn to um create some boundaries that's one example another example might be you've had to learn to communicate what you really feel and sometimes what you really feel isn't what you show is it you know some people certainly when they're in first in recovery um present a mental you know a kind of an emotional nature an, an emotional nature that it can sometimes hide a deeper feeling so so sometimes we have to learn how to sit with our real feelings you know um, go deeper than what we present you know defense mechanisms or, or or means of compensating you know such as you know um some people in their early days of recovery suffer from people pleasing you know and so so you may have to learn to stop people pleasing you might have to learn that it's actually quite dishonest and you're not really being yourself um you might you might have to learn about self-seeking you know you may have a need to you know whatever you do make it about you or um maybe you're looking for praise and again you know people people uh often people don't like that and it's quite hurtful when you keep acting that out and you, you don't get the desired results. So you have to learn how to be honest there too. So, so there is a, a period where you have to work on yourself, definitely. And sometimes you need to work on yourself before you um, begin maybe a deeper inquiry. You know, I mean, I've met people that go straight into the deep inquiry, then want to find consciousness, wake up, and and they haven't dealt with their defects. They haven't dealt with uh, themselves, their their initial uh, dilemmas of of um, dishonesty or or lack of lack of boundaries and stuff like that. So there is always this initial period where you do do that. You 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 sort that out, and then there comes a point where you realise that you've done enough. You 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 you're you're okay. You're okay. You're not people pleasing. You're not self seeking. You're not being dishonest all of the time. You're not being overly emotional which is concealing a deeper feeling you know you're not you know you're able to do that and then then after that yeah of course you know you can start to explore that question who am i you know and 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 it's an interesting stage really because up until now you've been caught up in yourself fixing yourself but what you're being asked to do now is to take the awareness out of that take the awareness out of that stop being attached to a method to a means, to a way. And of course, up until now, where you've been working on yourself, it's created boundaries. And in turn, those boundaries create a sense self, a, you know, creates you as a person, doesn't it? Your boundaries are a line that kind of defines you, your behavior defines you. And then you've got to sort of step out of that as awareness, but realizing that it's only awareness that can step out of that. And awareness then, you know, rests in itself and come to see it as the self. So, so that part, so that part of waking up or that part of self-realization has got nothing to do with your person or your mind or your thinking or your behavior. But, but it does seem that you need to work on yourself before you can enter into inquiry into deeper self. Um, and and you're right, you know. I mean, you you can work on yourself, and then it just becomes an incessant pattern, or you you know. And even then, you can sort of get tired of yourself, can't you? So, you know, going round and round and round, and analyzing or you know maintaining boundaries, and, and and realizing that you know these patterns don't actually define who you are. You know, so when you ask the question, "Who am I?" you don't know. 
you know, you, you may be this technique that, that um, deals with deeper feelings or old patterns that don't work, but who are you? In that? So there will be a time where when you're settled, when, you, when you've got to a point of feeling comfortable, you can ask that question, who am I? And then as that awareness begins to withdraw, and learn meditation as, as, as a means of awareness withdrawing. You don't need a technique. You don't need the yoga pants. You don't need the, the designer gear. You just need to be aware right now, who am I? And, and, and as awareness, begin to rest as awareness, going within awareness. That's all. And then, and then you begin to find out who you are on a much deeper level than the levels that you've been caught up in so far in fixing yourself or working on yourself. Because when you fix yourself or work on yourself, these are all the seen levels, aren't they? These are the, the mental, the emotional, the physical, the narratives, the interpersonal, all these seen levels. But when awareness begins to come away, it enters into the unseen levels. You see. And it's great to find yourself in those levels. But up until now, you've been caught up in the seen levels. And you need to, you know, you, you've got to, you know, clean up the house. You've got to keep it in order. And, then, and maybe you can... Uh, we draw from that and begin to ask the deeper question, who am I? Yeah. Yeah. And then you find out who you are, who you really are. Okay. Because you can get stuck in a therapeutic identity. You know, this is the thing where we get into recovery or we get into counseling. We get, you know, after a year or two, we can suddenly, you know, identity becomes very therapeutic, you know, and we all become like mini counselors. But but there will come a time where maybe you'll step away from that a bit and start to see who you are on a deeper level. There you go. That's, so it's normal. What you're doing is normal. 